and gentlemen, it's your boy Mo's Hawk here. Now, I'm going to today actually use a little bit of movie magic. Yes, Mo's Hawk is using movie magic. So, the plan today is to handle the situation of those tumor-looking mirrors that I hate, uh, as we have discussed in my 10 Things I Hate About My Bike video. So, without further ado, let's make this disappear. Let's make these mirrors disappear with a little bit of movie magic. Ready? Go! Shit! Oh, fuck. Like, how, how the hell do you break movie magic? Wait, wait. One more time. Achoo! Really? So it works on a sneeze. So when I sneeze, it works. But when I snap my fingers, I can't get movie magic to work. <sighs> How does one even screw that up? Anyway. All right, guys. Uh, you see what I've done? Now, stay tuned for the actual installation video. And... So, what I did was... Um, I took initially these, uh, I have the old turning signals, uh, from my 2015 Kawasaki, uh, Z1000. Uh, these were the rear turning signals off of the whale tail that's sitting down there. Uh, I cut these off, um, just with, uh, some wire clippers and some snips. And I cleaned off a little bit of this, uh, excess plastic with my knife. Um, I've already got one of these done uh, as I'm making this part of the video. I did that for test fitting and stuff just so I could actually see, you know, if the lights and LEDs was, would work and I already went and taped that up. So, uh, okay. So, um, after I cut those off, I just took these. Um, it's just a uh, terminal kit um, with crimping and all that other stuff. I got it in like a little pack um, from um, AutoZone. Um, yeah, so just a couple of bucks. And uh, go ahead and grab that. So, okay. What I want to do is I want to strip these wires. Okay. I'm going to strip this wire as well. All right. So I have enough. Um, okay, guys, there are probably some... Uh, extreme freaking forum gurus or something or some type of crazy electrical engineer that's going to tell you this is not the proper way to splice wires <laughs> let me tell you guys one thing if there's one thing i am not it is a professional at just about anything in life um yeah if you're looking for professional don't come here I'm just a guy with crazy ideas so enjoy the show so bear in mind this is the second time i did this yeah okay so i get my uh, copper wire um exposed um again i'm just going to kind of use this part that i clipped off of the old turn signal as like a wiring harness and uh you'll see when i go downstairs um to plug these in how this actually works um but the uh nice people did not give me no they didn't they did not mark this one Okay, guys, uh, whenever you do any type of weight, I might be lying. Whenever you do any type of work like this, um, you need to know which side is your power wire and which side is your ground wire. Um, if this does not work the first initial time, what I did was I had flipped the ground wire and the power wire and the power wire and the ground wire. So uh, I'm not sure which one is which. Let me take a guess. And if I'm wrong, I will just... Eh, Frickin' put it back together. Okay. I believe the last one I made, the green attached to the uh, white stripe wire, which I believe is the power, but I'm not an electrician, so don't quote me. The other side went to the yellow and black, which I'm assuming is ground, but again, I have no freaking idea which one's power, which one's ground. I just know that one of these is power. And one of these is ground. Show. Aw. Am I bleeding? No. No, no, no. That's not blood. Anyway. Do, 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 do
So, how's everyone doing? Well, sitting here watching me play with wiring. Good, I hope. All right. Now, okay, let's jump downstairs. Okay, guys, we are down in my evil laboratory where I do surgery. Um, full disclosure, I wouldn't suggest that you do what I'm doing right now. You have exposed copper, and I'm actually going to plug this in to the part of the harness for the turn signal. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend you do this because you got exposed copper and wire, but I'm not that smart, so fuck it. All right, and let's see if it works. And I got the right one. So, as you can see, my LED is blinking. Yay! Okay, so when you buy these lights um, and you tear apart your turn signal, uh, you can use the rear turn signal of the ZX-10, actually, here, let me go get it. Okay, guys, what you can do is you can use the rear turn signal of the ZX-10 as well. Um, when you actually use your LEDs from Advanced Auto, AutoZone, wherever you wanna go, the green wire, um, the green wire of this, once you clip it and use it basically as your wiring harness, splices to the white and black wire of your AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts uh, LED. Again, I really don't know which one is power and which one is ground, but I just know that combination works. Um, if you're colorblind, try it and then switch it if it doesn't work. Um, yeah. So, okay. Uh, next step, put some electrical tape on this one and I'm going to remove the mirrors and uh, run my wires the way I want them to go. Okay, ladies and germs, um, I just have a wet paper towel and uh, where I'm mounting the LEDs, I'm just cleaning it off, making sure that there's no dust or dirt there. Uh, honestly, you should probably use like some good quality cleaner or something if you're going to do this. Um, but me, I'm impatient, I'm cheap, and I uh, pretty much know that these LEDs are going to stick. They have 3mm, I mean 3M adhesive on the back. 3M makes pretty good stuff, so I just need this, you know, free and clear of dust. And this will work for me. Forget it. Okay. So, clean off the area where I want to put the LEDs. Um, actually have to go back and get the screwdriver. I've already popped off this one side that I'm going to use. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the mirrors. And I'm going to unclip the other side uh, LED, which is probably going to be a pain in the dick. Um, try to get that on camera. Pop your screwdriver. In this tab here, you have to push up with a screwdriver, and this just slides out the connector. All right, now you take a 316 Allen wrench, and it's just time to work the mirrors off. Okay, so my screws don't scratch my finished screws, so I got my one mirror off. Yep. <clears throat> And I'm going to save those just for resale purposes, i.e., let me see if I can resell them to somebody. Probably nobody wants them because nobody ever wants freaking stock motorcycle parts. I already disconnected this one, by the way. Okay, now, here's where I'm at. I have my mirrors removed, have everything disconnected. Now, I'm going to plug, mount my LEDs, plug them in. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll give them a test run, see how they work. Okay, so guys, um, I worked it out on the other side, and let me show you by doing the same thing on this side. Okay, so, what I did was, and I hope this is showing up on camera, I'm reinserting these in the correct manner. Uh, I already did the left side of the turning signal. I uh, reinserted the side of my uh, kind of homemade wiring harness back into the uh, little apparatus it goes into. Not sure the proper terms. Okay. Um, I then 
take the part that I cleaned, you know, where I want to put my LED at. Okay, here. Uh, peeled off the back tape like so. And I hope I'm getting this in the camera. I love good. Okay. Mm, miss gets like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take all of the uh, excess wiring here and I'm going to take it and what I used was this. It's like one of those little things that ties bread but it was used to hold some motorcycle parts or something. So hey, it's sturdy enough. Okay, I don't have zip ties. Use what I got to get what I want. You know, that could be taken in a very dirty context if you uh, listen to some female underground rappers or something, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, anyway, rambling as normal in my blog. Okay, so I took that, basically tucked it into, uh, you'll feel it, anybody who has a ZX-10. Uh, when you go around this front fairing piece here, uh, it's basically kind of like hollow. Like this just kind of slopes over this, not one solid piece. It's like a groove in the bottom. Um, I just tucked it into that groove um, just for cleanliness. So it kind of just stays out of the way of the steering uh, and away from the electronics. Okay. And there. And I'm going to rip this off, honestly, as much as I can just for looks. Want it to stay in there. Just don't want people seeing it stay in there. You know, trying to get a little, trying to get a little vein up in this bitch. Okay. So now let's test both of my turn signals. There's my green left. There's my green right turn signal. Okay. All right, guys. Hard part's done, and the hard part being the electrical work. Now it's time to just put on the bar and mirrors and we'll be done. Okay. 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 All right, ladies and germs. Now comes the bar and mirror edition bar and mirror part of this video. Now I ordered these, uh, cheapo, um, bar and mirrors from, I think it was eBay. Um, one thing with these, uh, when you order these mirrors, this is flipped around. This part right here is actually down here, and the reason that I had to flip this, I'll show you. It actually uh, interferes if you don't flip this. It interferes in you with the uh, frame slider. I mean, I guess if you want to take the um, bar end off, you can. That would also solve the problem. I just didn't want to because eh, I like keeping the bar end on. I don't know. I like it. it. Gives me security that the ends of my bars are taken care of. I don't freaking know. Anyway, yeah, so this is happening. Uh -huh. Just get unscrewed. Yep. And for whatever reason, the screw that they give you is just a wee bit longer uh, with these cheapo bar and mirrors. So I'll be using that screw, uh, but also I will be using Loctite, which I have to go and grab. Darn it. Okay. Hold on, guys. Let me go and uh, grab some Loctite. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so take the screw that they give you. Um, there's also some nonsensical pieces uh, that come with it. Um, now Kawasaki, I think it might be just Kawasaki, is going into like this little design thing where these are not hollow bar ends. It's just a bolt. You might be able to screw it out. I didn't try. Oh, and by the way, you're not going to have that much surface area on your bolt when you put it in. It's pretty much the reason why I'm and I'm screwingly dripping Loctite everywhere. Wow. 
that's just dirty of me. Oh well. Hopefully the EPA is not watching this video. They're off probably polluting something anyway. Fuck it. Okay. So, oh, and I went with the cheapo mirrors with the lane splitting option, just in case, you know, I take a trip to California that one day one took. Damn it! Wrong size wrench. Fuck. Let me get the right size. <sighs> okay. Okay. So the right size Allen wrench was in there. And I'm going to screw it in. And there you go. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, mods are done. I've got my two bar end mirrors. Uh, I honestly have to ride with them just to see about the adjustment. But, you know, here she is. My front end uh, all cleaned up. I love it. So, yeah, that's all I can uh, all I can say. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me stumble through an install. If you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to uh, feel free to hit me up. All right, guys, peace.